Hello to all physics enthusiasts and fans of physical experiments. This is Andre Chetnikov, and sometimes we want to make videos that are not complicated at all. Because in any case, from simple physics to complex, we are often separated by just one or two steps. And today's video will be dedicated to such a topic. We all fly on airplanes and hear how during the flight, the pilot informs us that this flight is taking place at an altitude. 10 or even 11 kilometers. And the question arises, why do airplanes fly so high? After all, to climb up, you need to burn extra fuel and then you have to descend from that height. Why not fly lower? And we will answer this question now. As physicists, we should start by illustrating all the forces acting on the airplane in horizontal flight. And this gravitational force is balanced by the lift force created by the wings and the thrust force generated by the engine significantly balances the air resistance force. And regarding the air resistance force, we need to know that it is proportional to the air density and proportional to the square of the speed at which the airplane flies. Thus, with the same thrust force from the engines, the lower the air density, the greater the square of the speed and consequently the speed. Conversely, the higher the air density, the lower the airplane speed will be at the same thrust force. And now let's look at the graph of the so-called standard atmosphere, showing how air density decreases with altitude. And we will see that at an altitude of 10 kilo above sea level, the air density is approximately three times less than at sea level. And this means that with the same engine thrust at an altitude of 10 kilometers, the airplane can achieve a speed greater by the square root of 3, i.e. E. approximately 1.7 times faster than when flying just above sea level. So, if at an altitude of 10 kilometers a passenger airliner flies at a speed of 950 km h, then near sea level, with the same engine thrust, it can only achieve a speed of 550 km h, 550 km per hour. Well, if we calculate similarly, then at an altitude of 5 km with the same engine thrust, the speed will be 735 km h, which is noticeably less than 950, and therefore it is advantageous for the airplane to climb higher. And now I want to make a small digression and say that it just so happened that we have several channels on mathematics and physics and if you want to receive information about all the videos that are released on them, and YouTube often does not deliver it to you, the easiest way is to subscribe to our channel on Telegram, where this information is gathered in one place. You will find the link below. And now it's time to move on to our concluding question. And it will be as follows. All right, we have determined that the higher you go, the less air resistance there is at the same speed. Therefore, it is more advantageous to fly higher. But then why do passenger planes not fly at altitudes higher than 10 or 11 kilometers? Please share your thoughts on this matter in the comments to this video on YouTube.